from New York City to another episode of The Night Show with Brother Abraham. We would like to go to the main topic of tonight where Edith, where we said, please come and teach us how to make Hajj to Oxford University. So we're not here to debate. We're here to learn. Allah, grab your pen and papers. And Edith will explain to us uh, how we're going to make Hajj, where we should go and make Hajj, and when we should go and make Hajj, and so on. Edith, the floor is yours. Assalamu alaikum. I feel myself in a ring. How many of you here? Goodness sake. <laughs> That is uh, tough to talk in here, but I will try my best. Are you going for Hajj this year, and uh, have you gone before? This time, first time we will have, inshallah, Al Hajj Al Akbar at Oxford University, inshallah. And you will hear it. You will hear on the news because it will be a really major event. It will serve the purpose that the Quran wanted us to do. Um, the Quran tells us to do Hajj Al Akbar means great. Uh, debate uh, once a year during the restricted month. All humans are invited because it is about discussing important issues involving humanity. And this is a conference, intellectual, scientific, uh, social, political conference. And this is the format. Edith, uh, uh, just, uh, just one second. Uh, thank you, Edith. Just one second. Uh, so, okay, so where should we, uh, before I open, because I think there's a lot of people that have some fiqhi related questions regarding this Hajj. But before we open up, you're saying it's uh, Muslims and non-Muslims that go, but where should we go and have this great debate during Dhul Hajjah? And uh, so if you can say where we should go, and then we, I open up uh, for some fiqhi questions. Uh, I, I, in Arafa, Arafa means the ID recognition place where they will be showing their IDs and over there they may sign the agreement there. They do not violate the rules. If they violate, they will do this and that. If you come there with your weapon or angry, we see you have a kind of chips on your shoulder. Then we say, brother, it's not a good place for you. Go somewhere, get some rehabilitation, and then next year, inshallah, come join us. And therefore, in order to have this conference go properly, a uh, few things are prohibited during the conference. During the conference, uh, sexual affair with women is prohibited. <coughs> hunting is uh, prohibited because people coming from all around the world, if they hunt in that location, then it will uh, have ecological uh, major disaster in the region. And if anyone violate this one, that person is ordered to, like, ticket to feed people or to send certain uh, gifts to people. So you do not take from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and you have to take from Egypt. One second, one That's second, right, right, right. right. So Edith, I think you have one more question. Time for one more question, or or you finished? Uh... I have a, a second question for him. Oh, yeah, go, go I, for I it, inshallah. Okay, um, so the moving between Saf and Marwa. Safwa means calm, uh, to be calm, to be on its own. Al Marwa in Arabic, you know, Marwa comes from Marwa. The same thing is means chivalry, means helping others. If you come to the conference at Oxford, if you are invited, inshallah, and uh, you may want to go to a hotel and relax, be Safwa. Or you may go and uh, clean up the rooms and organize the tables and be a volunteer. Okay, we'd like to thank Imam Edip for his, uh, his uh, explanatory. And uh, inshallah, we will continue discussions another time. Thank you for your time, Edip. It was... Um, God bless you. Peace.